Encode your DNA. Define your genetic structure. Choose a genetic resilience. Choose your first style. Pick your main color. Choose your detail color. Pick a class. Merce, mercenary, good choice. Here's somebody with a troubled past, drawn into the spotlight of a story that's already begun. We're already at a crossroads. Choosing a path in life is that fork in the road where you make a choice or simply stop living. But for you, it's not only- Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the dark side of you. Your inner voice, to be precise. of heart. That thing? I'm right here. Let me remind you, we're two same. Better half. My way is both better and brighter. Light makes it easier to see the best end. The best end is the one you decide yourself, and it seems we're headed in the right direction. Guess left can be right, sometimes. Stories of death and the bodies left behind. A reminder that we're at the mercy of nature and the one that preys on others. Do you remember the beast that shattered your family? Or did you choose to forget? You turned your back on our world and got lost in your own. Meanwhile, the predator only grew stronger. for it. This is not the time nor place to end this story.
This time, it was best to run and live to fight another day. Let us hope you're ready for it when it comes. The Predator isn't the only threat. The wildlife started to mutate when the end of days began, and the Tree of Life started to die. Oil sludge is everywhere. To most, it only means death, but some have adapted to the new environment and changed with it. Evolution has its ways. Battle teaching. Thank <laughs> you. 
look, an emergency box from the once was. A rare sight. It looks weak. The claw bar should come in handy. Whoa! It's time to find a way out of this place. No, really, I mean it. The Morks produce biomatter in their multi-organ that they shed under distress. Globs that affect the cellular coding strands of any living being when absorbed, including you. Shut. and pull. Toxinol built vessels called arcs to save themselves from the impending doom. But what... Just a few moves left. Make them count. Post instead, assuming that it would sink and decay with time. It would never be the same again, and what remained of it became ours. So 
sound of spark metal going pew pew is never a good thing. It's coming from behind that door. A warning label. The box looks like a potential brain melt. It's going to take a bit of puzzling to short-circuit the door. There you go. The wheeled one is outnumbered. You'd better help him out. the last of them. Let's talk to the wheeled one before backup arrives. That's sure to be useful. He wants to thank you for taking his side against the scavengers. He sounds familiar. You just can't figure out why. He presents himself as out of date. Asks if you were tired, as it's a bit of a hike here from the village. He wonders if your Mooma knows you are here. <laughs> Sounds like he thinks she does, despite your heart growing dark. There's nothing as powerful as a Mooma's love. <laughs> He understands why you came all the way out here, to see them, the potato people. <laughs> the potato people, or Nono, are a wonder somehow. <laughs> you might be right. Like potatoes, they're packed with energy, an excellent source of key. <laughs> the Nono prefer to hide in glitter grass, he says you should get over there and ruffle it. See if you can make one come out of hiding.
You found one. You should be proud. They don't come out for everyone. <laughs> the Nono's key energy is just what the Pensai needs to complete its cycle and grow into a tree of life. <laughs> Only time will tell. At least his intention is to dedicate his life to it. He has the feeling the fate of the world depends on it. You need to support the tree for a long time to come. The only way it'll grow tall is with the burst of key released from the nono as they become one with the tree. You'll need a net to catch the nono, and he wants you to use his, but asks you to be gentle. The Nono are sensitive beings, an embodiment of Ki, the primal energy. Now that you've seen the Nono's connection with the tree with your own eyes, you have no reason to doubt. He says you... He lost you there for a while, but no... The genetic evolution that occurred after the... His friend Gizmo is working on a Mekton and needs help defeating the Jumbo Puff at the end of the West Route. Wiz is still repairing his Octopod to confront the Merc Puff that dwells deep down under the surface at the end of the... Finally, Goop is almost done with the Goo Glide, a machine able to ride the waves of the surf all the way out to the Porky Puff at Goop the end of the almost the done with the Goo Glide, a machine able to ride the wave. Out of date, says his friends, are gearing up to stop the World Eaters. There's one at the end of each route. The road ahead won't be. Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the tribe war and the situation with the world eaters.
You're getting the hang of it. Quickest way out is through the roof where they came in, and the rope looks strong enough to climb. The quickest way out is through the roof where they came in, and the rope looks strong enough to climb. Know that the tree of life is dying. Its days are numbered. Without help, it can't endure no, the environmental change and assault days from the number. world eaters. Without help, it can't no, endure the environmental change and assault days from the world eaters. A signpost maps it out for the Carter graphically challenged. A signpost maps it out for the Carter graphically challenged. A Let's see. Maps it out. that chewed off out of date's leg. You'll need a hat trick to bring that down. The world eaters have made their marks on our world over time. That's not the first nor the last village it'll leave in its wake. Look, a survivor. Glad to see someone made it out alive. Sharp as your wit. He's heard the stories about the terror. He worries there won't be much left to save if this can. Anyway, he needs help and says it's by your actions you'll be judged, not by your intentions. He can't understand why you'd do such a thing. He won't make it out of here on his own. Good work, clever cogs. Let me guide you into the dark. Seriously? I always thought better of you than that. And you were wrong. 
There's always more dark than light. There's still time to turn back. They're already heading down my road. There's out of date again. He must have missed something important. Come Reaper to why out of the Lua Lu to look to Wovu. Regardless of who you the Myriad's conviction to stop the world eaters began when the Leviathans rose from the depths of the surf. Siding with the Myriad's movement for wholeness in a fragmented world might seem like the logical thing to do, but is it the right thing? One thing's certain, though. Destiny arrives all the same. The Jagni tribe only ever had one conviction, to bring balance to the world by wiping out the weak. They believe a cleansing is necessary to restore the world and want to let the world eaters bring down the Tree of Life. But siding with Chagney isn't necessarily a bad thing. Fate will find a way. Is. Out of Date says someone needs to break the stalemate and shift the balance of power to either Jagney's or Myriad's side. Vunko Vuntu, Nuatolo Maua. He believes the tribe Sifus, Jagni especially, will listen to you and expects you to pay at least Lotolu by Lotolu Farkobem. Another fork in the road. It's either the tunnel or the motor bridge. What'll it be? It's unusual that natural tunnels like this still exist. Most of them got flooded.
watch you flex. This area was beautiful before the tribe war began. Look at it now. It's a war zone. That's the Myriad Tribe's fortress. Will they be friends or foe? You should head up there. That way you'll know. Let's see. It's a beaten path to that door. If you go there, you'd better make an entrance. Says they're wary of strangers. They're at war. The Myriad tribe act on understanding of the greater good and a code of honor. They believe uniting the tribes is the only way. He welcomes you to the Myriad fort and in... But he was hoping you'd show up. Says there has to be some dark so that light can prove its purity above it, and promises this will happen if you help them unite the tribe. He had a feeling you'd say that, and it's too bad. He thinks you should reconsider and follow your heart instead of your mind, otherwise he'll have no choice but to treat you as a rival. He offers you to return and take your place. And with that, he urges you to seek protection at Jagni's Stick Fort as soon as you can. He won't be able to guarantee your. He says that not taking a side. Good.
Let's see. It's a bridge. Just get over it. <laughs> They've restroyed this area, muddied up what used to be muck, as if it wasn't bad enough before the tribe war began. That's the Jagni tribe's fort. Their friendship can be a blessing or a curse. It's up to you. You're either a part of their solution to the tribe war or part of the problem. Let's see. Says they're wary of... Thinks you should just put one paw ahead of the... The Jagni tribe wants He welcomes you to the The news of a cold-blooded Ronin crossing the Great Wall He's ref the Sifu was waiting for something to tip the balance in their favor, and with you by their side, he's confident you can vanquish the other tribes. The one he wants to deal with first is the Myriad. Their kin must put an end to the war before They have no intention of letting this drag out or they'll run He wants you to focus These are the new rival outposts your tribe needs to take control of He says you'll regret not being on their side. The only way you'll learn their secrets, Wung Fu and the tribe weapon now, is if you defeat him. And that will never happen. You both share dark thoughts, so they want to wage a war. A war where all that's left behind is casualties. Once you've conquered the rival's outposts, you'll challenge their Sifu for control of their territory, tribe weapon, and kin. Anyway, you'll pass your old village on your...
The gatekeeper welcomes... They've already got word of an intruder, so he guesses... You have orders to follow. Set... Better beware, that's a month up ahead. They were hit hard by evolution, the wonderful especially, deformed and unfurred. Time is lost on this place, but it evokes a tingling sensation. There's something special about it, drawing you closer. Let's see. As time passes, memories fade, and sometimes feelings change. It's not about who you were. Echoes of a long-lost past, like whispers in the wind. Here's someone who takes each day as it comes. He asks how you are today. Then he, he wonders where you've been. He thinks you should He says that was But you need practice. Judging by your Mooma's look, it seems you forgot something. You promised you'd train with her before. You sh She'll see you at Here's another familiar face with lots on his mind. Asks how you're feeling today. His only interest when creating is that what he comes up with is actually useful. He was hoping you could help him pick up some scrap for a thingamajig he's working on. Oh. 
Oh, no. He thinks you're truly a kidling of your environment. <laughs> you should look for things that are recyclable. It shouldn't take you too. He wonders what usefulness you found. He can work. You did well, but he can't help but wonder why you did He speaks It looks like she's starting to lose her patience. You know she doesn't like waiting for you. They look determined. Better watch out. He asks you to stop right there and wonder. That makes him wonder why you were here looking for it. He wants to know who you think you are. She asks if you're hurt. What happened? It's time to focus. Here's someone close to heart, doing what he does best. Seeing you always puts a smile on your Popsy's face. He wants to know how you're feeling. He heard you helped Gizmo clean up. He's... He asked. He'll leave the quick part. He... He's curious to see what you found. So much. He can work wonders with pretty much anything and ask. He's learned you never know when something you found might come in handy, so it's best to save everything. The style. He. You should take it with you. He thinks you should. Cut. 
Katja to pluta. Your Mooma says it's about time you got here. Ruhemu, tu kanoru amun. Kanamun antoro. Minalagimamu. Your Mooma says you did. Antoro. Minalagimamu. Kensim. Anaro. Kialdo male kanoru tun. Catchy. Drop a look. Your Mooma says she's not there. She can't get up. Can a munta. It's to conda. Brumble, Marasamon, Turi, Kumbala Moon. Rest and you. Nothing could stop Mooka Luka from setting the world on fire. Your Mooma urges you to blaze a trail. A burnt kidling will learn to dread fire. That's just adding fuel to the flames. Give it a last burst and you'll make it. Your Mooma says this is it. The... There's nowhere to run to this time. The time has come to... Whatever happens, you need to know she loves you. And everything she's done has been to protect you, your Popsy, and those she was chosen to lead. She tells you to stay back. This is her fight. It has nothing to do with you. History has finally caught up with her. She loves how brave you are, but she can't be worrying about you while she fights. This is her fight. Here it comes, the past coming to haunt the present. Go through fire and water to make it out of here. Your Mooma says you can make it if you believe in it. Where she goes, you go. Blood is thicker than water. You're in deep surf. Don't make waves. The surf goes where it wants to go. It'll take you to the shore as long as you go with the flow.
Death is not to be feared by one who has lived life with a pure heart. A part of her will live on in you. The creature is hungry for more. Nothing is going to stand in its way now. If a sacrifice is made for someone else, it's not lost, but passed on to the next. Life must go on. Real sacrifice comes from love and necessity when all other options are exhausted. The ultimate test of conscience is the willingness to give up anything to save what you truly care about. What you do for yourself dies with you. What you do for your kin remains and makes you immortal in their memory. As the moment fades and is lost, the only thing that remains is loneliness. It doesn't mean you'll forget your past. It simply means you need to move on. Tribes caught a fluffy hog. Better watch out, it's no pet. They couldn't keep it down. Fluff hogs on the loose. energy for that. They couldn't keep it down. Fluff hulks on the loose. Key energy.
It was hard. They've received news a Ronin joined the tribe's ranks and were looking forward to meeting you. A group of Jagni warriors are already waiting for you at Myriad's Vespidut outpost. You should hurry there and help them storm the outpost. Surun Faltut I Wa Sula Karaktunu Look, an emergency box for... Wow, bet that nut makes a tight fist. Tunnels like this still carry echoes from the past. Can you hear it? That notice board, filled with the leftovers of used to be once. You're getting close to the Toxanol Corporation. Them. Let's see.
It's Peekaboo Park. Young ones love this sort of place. Flash the slash. Not enough key energy. Now that's a flesh wound. Have a good eye for that stuff. This one seems to is sad to Yes, that's the way. No arguing with that. Sometimes your gut is flat. Don't ever doubt yourself. Even the dark. Stick with me. Now you're styling. That's a myriad tribe outpost. Reserves are tapped. All fired up.
One down soon. Carving it up. The Vespidut Outpost, long-time home of the Myriad tribe. Let's see. Says you need to hit them where it Here's the first line of defense. Bomb lobby.
spot. Wrecked it. Give those twirly wheels a turn. Just a few moves left, make them count. Yes, the river tubs going down the drain. is holding a helper. Says they've been treated fair, but is glad to see you. Hope wishes there was another way. Shooter. The scaffolding looks unstable. Better stay clear of the red ray. Here's the second line of defense.
timber. Bet a big bump will bring it down. Switched off the light. A barrel shoot. Smack it to get a barrel out of it. Then hit it toward the gate and blast it. That looks splody. Shoot it and watch it blow. Not kaboom. You're in. Almost there. The outpost belongs to your tribe now. He says you made them weaker, but they won't give up. Your Sifu thanks you. Your tribe is growing stronger. Says you did a great job capturing the outpost. You've earned the oh. Says you're out of date. Says he's doing That's the sound of impending doom. Out of date's premonitions of imminent disaster are true. Goop is working on making his goo glide strong enough to break the waves out to the world eater. The Matu sign a Jawa Pau Mania show. Wout one glazier. The Ven break a bank of you. Fair enough, all around. Fire up here to up the lad and the. Is glad to see you doing so much damage, but why stop there? Fine time to be outside. There's a serenity about this spot.
that there's Subnautica Station. Goop flounders around in there. <laughs> 